FW. All right, John, you got some products you want to show me here. What, what, what we got going on here first? Uh, this is a, a special brand of coffee called Luwak Coffee. Coffee? Yep. And we're at a poop exhibit. Okay, I cannot wait to hear about that. <laughs> this coffee is actually eaten by civet cats. Uh, the civet cats eat the berries. Uh, and the beans, of course, are not digested, and the beans are pooped out. And it's, uh, it's regarded as a delicacy. This particular coffee costs $90 for a half pound. N Wait a minute. $90 for poop coffee? What, let, what's it smell like? Yeah. Just get a whiff of this. You know, that's not bad. No, it's actually quite good, isn't it? So uh, apparently the digestive tract of the civets uh, process some of the acids out of the coffee and make it particularly smooth for those people that are aficionados of Luwak. Now, do you, have, do you ever ask yourself the question, who was the first person that tried this method of <laughs> brewing coffee? <laughs> that's a great question. Uh, yeah, that's right. Who would follow that animal? What were they thinking? <laughs> they were like, oh, wait, I got an idea. We can take that poo and make coffee out of it. <laughs> that's it. Yes, I guess so. Wow. Now I've heard it all. Okay, what else have we got here? All right. We've got uh, from Japan a uh, facial product that's made from... Uh, the feces of nightingales. So this is a powder, and I'd be happy. Wait, this is a this is a face wash. A, fa a facial, uh, oh like, my God. A, like a mask, I guess. Okay. Uh, do you want to try toning a little bit here? We can sprinkle some in your hand. It's a powder. I hope this smells as good as the coffee. So this is again dried nightingale poop. Oh God, no. <laughs> no, that does not smell like coffee. No, I don't. I agree. I, you wouldn't get me putting that on my face. And, and so, what do I do? I wipe this on my face. Do I snort it, or what? What do I do? I put it right across your forehead. <laughs> you know what? All, all in the day's work. Hey. Hold this, John. All right. Go, Jeets. Go, Jeets. Whoa! Doesn't that glisten? Look how it closes the pores. John, I'm not gonna lie. I'm feeling younger. <laughs> Well, even your beard looks more vibrant. If I get on my mouth, I'll be talking crap. <laughs> All right, John, what do we got here? I, I'm, a, I'm afraid to ask, but you just, just lay the bad news on me. All right. This is really a, a great start to the story about how animals use scent uh, to declare their territory, to let them know that they're there, to let them know that they're looking for a mate. Um, and scent is really prevalent in the animal kingdom. Um, and we'll so you can take a romantic poop? Is that what you're saying? Oh, very much so. I mean, it's a great way to attract uh, good-looking ladies. So, so. so what, what do we got here? I can actually smell the action of, a, of an animal here? Well, this is, this is the action of a plant. It's, it's demonstrating that, uh, in this case, daisies. Uh, they may not smell good to you, but smelling like dung helps a plant attract flies. So a lot of, a lot of plants actually can smell like dead things, and that's one way that they can attract insects to them uh, to pollinate them. So it's, it's again trying to explain how smell is. It's very flowers' way of tricking flies. That's right. Yeah, right. Exactly. So take a sniff. Can't trust the flower. Okay, here I go. Oh God. Oh yeah. Whew. I'm fooled. I'm fooled. All right, John, I'm actually kind of excited for this one just on the title alone. It says muck spreading. Explain what, explain what we're about to watch here. All right. Not, not, a, uh, not a slam against our journalists in the community, but instead sort of a continuation of that uh, topic that we had about scents, how scents carry in the animal world and why they're important. So this is a great video of some hippos that are preparing to announce their presence. Oh, my God. He's just making a mess of himself. Well, that's a great way for a hippo to say, as that material uh, then decomposes and spreads throughout the water column, hey, I'm here, this is my spot. Uh, if I'm a male, don't come around. If I'm a female... As, as the hippo's dropping the hammer, his tail almost acts like a windshield wiper <laughs> to uh, spread his <laughs> scent, I guess we'll say, right? Hey, that little tail's got to be useful for something, right? <laughs> Aren't they cute? <laughs> I've never been more happy not to have a tail, John. <laughs> if you would be a wrong. great time here at the Point Defiance Zoo and Aquarium for 99.9 .9 KISW, the rock of Seattle. This has been the scoop on poop, and this has been Jeets on the Street. The BJ Shea Morning Experience on 99.9 .9 KISW.